Right, this is the control console. It starts into default condition. When you set for head, we have the head current in the left display. And if you switch to flux or coil, we get the current in the right display. It always starts with a minimum current for this particular mode. So we have 250 amps for the head, 2000 amp turns for flux and so on. On the console we've got a supply light which is always on, we have a ready light which can be on or flashing, we have a mag button, a demag button. Then we can set the bench to various modes, head, flux, coil, AC, half wave, full wave. The shot times on the bench are controlled by this button and the two up and down. You press it, it shows you the shot time. In this case, it's one half second shot. To increase it, you press the up button. We now have a single one second shot, a single two second shot, two half second shots, two one second, two twos, three halves, and so on. Okay, we'll select one second. Um, use the up and down on their own changes the current. If I press it, it goes up in tens. If I hold the opposite one, it goes up much faster. Above a thousand amps, it goes in twenties. And likewise, coming down, press decrease, and now the opposite one. So you can select the current you want quite quickly. Like so. Okay, we'll do a quick shot on the head. We've got a thousand amps, one second, press mag, and it gives us 930 amps in this case. We'll increase the shot time two seconds. 990 amps. Okay, AC, half wave, full wave. We'll switch over to half wave now. And there we are. We have indicators above these switches to show you the mode you're in. Or the waveform you've selected. So if we do a shot on AC, and now perform a DMAG, you can hear the current decreasing and the display shows you a decreasing graphic. The only one that's different is the full wave. Do a shot. And now we do a DMAC, which takes much longer. This is the control console, this is the headstock and the tailstock. The headstock is pneumatically controlled via the foot switch. It's unclamped now, and I'll press the foot switch, it's now in its clamped position. One more press unclamps it. The tailstock is manually locked or released. that is ready now to clamp apart. This bench has a dual foot switch, which can be placed anywhere. It's marked C and M for clamp and mag. The letters will fluoresce under UV.
This is the self-contained inking system. It sits under the bench. This is the handgun which applies the ink to the part. And we have the starter on and off. This control adjusts the flow to the handgun and the control at the back controls the recirculation within the tank. This is a stainless steel tank with 50 litres capacity. The ink is recirculated via the pump and this spreading bar. The V shape of the tank means there are no corners for the particles to settle out and the particles are kept in suspension due to the recirculation. We normally fit coils to our benches 90 degrees to this one and they fit between the head and tail stocks. However, in this application we've been asked to make a 600mm diameter coil in this orientation at this end of the bench. It has its own magnetised and demagnetised buttons at this end of the bench for ease of operation. On this bench we have three phase four wave DC, we have coil and flux, therefore we have to supply quick break. I'll just switch this in, so we'll switch to coil and full wave. I'll keep quick break off for now and you'll see the difference between on and off. So we'll select a current in the coil at 6,000 amp turns, we perform a mag, that's with quick break off and with it on, this is the a quick break tester from Magnaflux, we place near the edge of the coil in this orientation. On the, on the tester is a lead which blinks at the end of the shot. That's the key point to this. I shall now perform a shot without quick break. And as you see, no blink on the lead. A shot with quick break. And there's a blink at the end of the shot which indicates that quick break is functioning.